Henry was fussing, what's going to happen to all these books when I die? So Fred says, I'll take them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think he's got them at the Gerstel Academy yeah, uh, in their library. Yeah, well, he said he was going to do that. I don't know. Probably yeah. He should have tossed out a bunch of them. <laughs> I don't know. Probably but found anyway, use for all of them. Fixed up now, so. Boy, look at that, huh? Those Is that Henry? Really there's his tennis trophies up there? That's a few left. He had about three or four hundred of them when I gave them all away. Really? <laughs> but I kept, oh I kept a shuffle. This one was uh, an international tournament he won in Austria. Wow. And this oh is God. one that he and I won at Beach Mountain, the first tournament they ever had. Mixed doubles? Yeah. And it was no age group. We beat the high school kids <laughs> with their parents watching them. <laughs> You're kidding. Wow. <laughs> and that That's I have to say, one of, one of Henry's, you know. No, he played in about 400 tournaments. Is that how many? I was telling the girls coming over about here that it, he was such an avid player. Some before I knew him. And then when I came on the scene, I kept a record of him. There he is. And I got a record of everyone. His military this outfit is, on. This was taken the first year at the Citadel when he first came His here. first oh. year. Look at all those medals. Well, this was a... Uh, After the war. He was a World War II highly decorated veteran. Mm -hmm. He had 260 wow, combat days. And never got hurt. That's incredible. Wow. wow. From, from the beach, normally, till a Nazi surrender. So anyway, these were his medals. And at the Citadel, the faculty wears uniforms. Mm. And he was the only full-fledged colonel uh, <laughs> that had, you know, record. So uh, they could wear their uniform at the Citadel. He didn't wear all the medals all the time. That was just dress up for a, the yearbook. Yeah. yeah. Now, Esther, how many languages could he speak fluently? Well, his answer to that is... None. <laughs> but we know his it was... English was mixed up with a little West Virginia lingo. <laughs> <laughs> he, could never, he could never pronounce a couple words right. Oh, that's funny. But anyway, our foreign languages was German was the main one, Russian was the second, and he studied Spanish all his life from the time he and Mike went to uh, Kaiser. <laughs> they studied Spanish at Kaiser, yeah. really? That's interesting. Yeah, and, all, and he, he was studying until the end of his life, the last week of his life. But he never taught it. But we had a Mexican house cleaner that comes in. And after she finished cleaning the house, well, they'd sit down in the kitchen and he'd answer her English questions. And he'd have Spanish questions for her. But she only had a third grade education. The questions he had, she couldn't answer. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, that's hilarious. Come on in here. 